This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomberito Automotive Group. Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Maurice Drummond. Here are some stories making headlines. Breaking overnight, News 4 learns that two people were killed in a shooting on the edge of St. Louis University's campus. It happened near Lindell and Grant. Police say the two men were shot. One died in the scene. The other man died at the hospital. News 4 confirmed late last night that former Missouri Governor Eric Greitens gave first aid to victims. Greitens was nearby eating with a friend. Happening today, the St. Louis Public School District will unveil its plans for reopening schools. Yesterday, dozens of teachers and faculty members voiced their concern about what the district's back-to-school plan entails and if it'll work. The district is putting its plan online so it can give people some feedback through Friday. Also happening today, the Board of Aldermen will vote on whether to put the airport privatization on the airport of the November 3rd ballot. Supporters say that privatization could net the city more than $1 billion, and members of several unions and some Board of Aldermen members are worried about jobs and wages being cut. It's time now for a check of the forecast. Kent Earhart, temperatures are rising. They're going up, and along with the humidity, that's going to lower your comfort level as we move forward from here, Mo, unfortunately. So a hotter day on tap today as the humidity increases later today. Not that bad this morning. Uh, but there is a storm chance beginning tonight, but really kicks in during the afternoon and evening hours tomorrow as the front approaches. 93 today puts the heat index in the upper 90s this afternoon. Sunny and hot, not too humid yet, but going up. And that southeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Yesterday was 89, so the temperature is definitely going up today. And the super predictor beginning late tonight through tomorrow morning. Pretty quiet. Still have a chance for a few showers making their way into the northern counties tomorrow morning, but it's really from the evening on when we expect the bulk of the rain. That's at noon, some rain to the north, and you can see showers and thunderstorms develop as this front settles over us and kind of puts the brakes on and stalls very near us. So Wednesday night into Thursday, scattered thunderstorms a pretty good bet. One or two of them could become severe as we've kind of upped the ante on the severe threat to slight for most of the viewing area, and this is focused, I think, on Wednesday night into Thursday uh, as we get uh, that uh, front to stall over us. And you can see that's implied here by the uh, severe threat for Friday, which is basically the southern half of the viewing area, uh, assuming that that front stalls very near the metro area. It could be north of that, could be south. Very tough call how far south these fronts get this time of year. And then it lifts, and as it does, uh, boy, that heat really spills in. So low to mid 90s over the next few days with these chances of storms and the clouds from those storms uh, helping to keep the temperatures down a little bit. But man, does it get hot and humid later this week. Upper 90s over the weekend. Heat index readings over 100.